Ah, 11 degrees out here and it feels really pretty good. Today, while we got snow on the ground and good burning conditions, we are gonna move from the pasture, weed cedar trees, and clean up brush and fire hazards. I'm getting rid of all of this with snow on the ground on a crisp, beautiful morning is a great day to start your Monday week off, I believe. This is what we're gonna to do today. This might be a good time to reintroduce myself with my license plate. Kale, make sure you blur that out so nobody sees my license plate. This is my farm, Lead Farms. It's an acronym for the letters of the names of my children. I have five kids. One of the better ways... Oh, Kale Carlson. I farm and ranch in Nebraska. Corn, soybeans, seed corn. It's January. Looking forward to next year. Feeling a lot more motivated. Uh, finally got snow. We haven't had big snow here or any snow in the last two years. So it's encouraging to be getting moisture in the west, in, in Nebraska, western part of Nebraska. Uh, one of the best ways I found to stoke a fire is with a John Deere 210 poker. It's a great way to move trees quickly and efficiently and stab the fire to keep it going, keep it rolling. Let's climb into this bad boy. Love this machine. Also, this, this machine, it does have a block heater on it. I don't think it's ever been used. I did not use it this morning. Maybe I should have. It was 11 degrees, so I thought, let's just try to start it to see what it would do in corn, cold weather, see how well it turned over. It's warm for me running around a little bit this morning. But I have to say, it started really, really well. No block heater, 11 degrees. Turned over maybe four or five seconds, fired right up, did its run through. Oh, I did run the glow plugs, so that probably helped. But let's get down to that fire and pull some trees. You can see some tracks where we were playing in the snow. Snow, ice, frozen ground, and these tracks and a hillside this thing can turn into a giant bobsled. So I have my seatbelt on and I'm always ready to put the bucket down, stab in the ground to reorient myself. Always be cautious and aware of the bobsled effect with frozen tracks. All right, well, let's uh, go for it. See how slick this hill is. We did have about a third of an inch of sleet, rain, and ice before the snow. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Let's hit the brakes. Oh, this feels, this feels really good, like I'm getting plenty of traction. Should we go to second gear? I eh, slid a little bit. Just so you guys know, this is a two-speed two machine. So if I do that, that's road gear. And you can go really fast down the hill. Hit the brakes. Oh yeah, we've got, I feel very confident in my traction. Also, I would like to mention a quick and easy way to turn these machines around. Now, since I'm on frozen ground and snow, I could just easily do this and turn the machine around. But typically when we're on dry ground or soft ground, it's not as easier for these to skid or slide. So in an excavator, one option you have, it's a little bit of a hack, pros only. You uh, put the stick down and you're lifting up on your tracks so there's not as much surface area. And then you just spin it as you're walking the machine. And you can easily turn your machine and then orient yourself to the fire. Look at that baby cook, let's consolidate. Thank you. 
Ah, now, does anybody have marshmallows? What a very good day. I got that pile burned. Got the second pile and third pile set up. So we start those tomorrow morning and continue on. This hillside is looking really good. We'll probably sow some rye grass, native grass, seed, get all the uh, roots cleaned up and sow in grass. So it'll be beautiful and amazing. It'll hold the soil and look like regular Nebraska native pasture ground rangeland like it should.